Hello and welcome. Today we're going to take a look at what comes with your HDI scanning system. When you purchase an HDI scanning system, we include the scanner, uh, but it does require a little bit of assembly to get up and running. Uh, the first thing that you will see come in the box is your scanner, your tripod, the tripod head, the two cameras, and also your two lenses. To set up your scanner, you'll need to mount the tripod head to the tripod, which is just a simple screw. It screws right on. Then we will need to mount the cameras to the scanner itself. Now on the scanner, you can see that we have a carbon fiber bridge. <clears throat> on this carbon fiber bridge, on either side, we have three screw set locations, each of which have two screw holes. These are designed for you to easily place your lenses in these mounting locations and begin scanning very quickly. Depending upon what you are wanting to do with your scanner, you will place these lenses in different positions. Uh, for scanning smaller objects, we place the len lenses closer together. For larger objects, we take them and place them farther apart. As a general rule of thumb, if you are using 35 or 25 millimeter lenses, we recommend putting them on the closest together position. If you're using 16 or 12 millimeter lenses, we recommend putting them on the middle position. And also if you're using eight millimeter lenses, we recommend putting them on the furthest out position for scanning very large objects. Now you can vary that as you choose because with our scanning systems, you have a full range of customization. So if you're looking to scan a very specific size, we can use the 35 millimeters spread out further or even the 12 millimeter lenses spread out further. Uh, it just depends upon <clears throat> your application, which we can talk about in a later video. Uh, so to mount the camera to the bridge, we will take the four screws included with the scanning system and use two per camera to mount the cameras to the scanning bridge. Now be careful when mounting these as the cameras are a very expensive replacement so you do not want to uh, drop them or cause them to malfunction in any way. Once that's done you can take your lenses and simply pull them out of the box, pop the covers off of the front and rear, and they simply screw into place. Also included is a wiring harness. Um, now this wiring harness will either include USB 3.0 cables or firewire cables. Um, if you're using FireWire, then there's an additional FireWire card that you'll need to put on your computer. Then it will also include either an HDMI or a VGA cable for hooking up your video. And last but not least, you have your power connection that's just a standard 120 volt power connection.